And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. We go inside the octagon here. It Ready to fight. Ready. Let's do it. All right, let us get to the early round action here. And a lot of people believe that Armand Sarukyan eventually will be a UFC champion. Had a main event with Mataj Gamrat. That did not go his way. But he's back on the horse. Still believes that he will be a force to be reckoned with in this division. And as far as this matchup is concerned, doesn't really see a whole lot of holes in his opponent's game. So we'll see how he chooses to attack. your reaction and if you give him too big a reaction he will start you with that beautiful left hook the guy is a tremendous power and he sets up his strikes like not many guys in the ufc or not many people in the ufc oh massive kick lands flush well he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range with the straight. Nice job there by Saruki. And everything is landing with so much power. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. Just by the one shot to close the door. Could not jump the lights off. And now he's passed and trying to find that shot again. Looked like he oh, nice double leg, yes. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, come on, that's gotta be it. Oh, oh, beautiful job to escape. Great job clearing the knee, getting his win all the way across in defending that heel hook. That was fun to watch. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Oliveira. There it is, now he's going to mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Nice jab by Oliveira. The takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. And now he's attempting to choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just stop, as the stop, horn stop. sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Saruk Yan gets hit with a kick. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Nice inside leg kick there. Saruk Yan's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Great punch, that is useful. Nice hook there by Saruki. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, effective.
effective use of the jab by Oliveira. Big, big strikes continue to land. Oliveira's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. Oh, got a potential net guillotine choke. He's locked in. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. That's right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, feet on the hips here. Oliveira getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, right, it's a mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, yeah, he's got him. It's tight. Oh, he's got some minutes. for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Charles the Bronx. All right, so another win by submission for the UFC's submission king, Charles Dubrox Oliveira. Nobody's ever.